Many thanks for joining us on the newsroom. I'm Okwayemi Owosheni, and these are the stories we're checking at the moment. The Senate has directed the Police Service Commission and the Nigerian Police Force to recruit a minimum of 10 candidates from each of the 774 local government councils in Nigeria. The directive, according to the upper chamber, should form part of its annual recruitment processes. The upper chamber also directed the committees on public affairs and legislative compliance to ensure compliance to the directive. The Nigerian Civil Aviation Authority, NCAA, says foreign airlines have reopened their low inventory tickets for Nigerians to access cheaper flights after meeting with the NCAA and other aviation stakeholders. Michael Achimogu, the Authority's Director of Public Affairs and Consumer Protection, disclosed this in a post on X on Thursday. In August 2022, British Airways had closed its inventory in Nigeria in the global distribution system over the foreign airlines chart fund controversy in the country. And Deputy Chairman House of Representatives Committee on Environment, Teresa Ubo, has called on the Niger Delta region to key into the mangrove restoration as part of efforts to combat oil spill in the region. Ubo made the call shortly after the signing of a memorandum of understanding between the Delta State Government and Seriadin Capital in Asaba, the Delta State Capital. The project has the potential to sequester and avoid just over 5 million tons of carbon emissions per year and also prevent the logging and removal of 250,000 hectares of forest in the region. Residents of the Federal Capital Territory, FCT, especially pregnant women, have been encouraged to register for the FCT Health Insurance Scheme to enable them access affordable health care delivery. The FCT Secretary of Health, Adedola Kwafasare, said it's at an event to enroll pregnant women of Amak and Buari area councils and the distribution of delivery kits. The scheme is aimed at eliminating maternal mortality and providing affordable and accessible health care for pregnant women in the nation's capital. And on business, the final reporting council, FRC, has issued a warning stating that henceforth it will not hold any accountable professional or company responsible for any breach of its governance codes. The FRC established by the Financial Reporting Council of Nigeria Act No. 6, 2011, is responsible for, among other things, developing and publishing accounting and financial reporting standards to be observed in preparation of financial statements of public entities in Nigeria and for related matters. And on the foreign scene, a massive blaze in a six-story shopping mall in the Bangladeshi capital, Dhaka, has killed at least 45 people and wounded dozens. The fire which took Green Cozy Cottage Shopping Mall Leaf on Thursday started in a Brian restaurant on the first floor with 13 units of firefighters battling for two hours to dust the flames. Prime Minister Sheikh Hazina expressed shock and sorrow over the incident, urging officials to provide swift treatment for the injured in the incident. And on sport, the reigning male African footballer of the year, Victor Simen, has earned the highest nomination in four categories at the 10th Nigeria Pitch Awards. This was reviewed on Thursday by the organizers of the Nigeria Pitch Awards, Trace Voter Coalition Agent SIAO Partners. Also, Victor Boniface of Bayern Liverpool Skin of Germany got two nominations, while Serial African Women Footballer of the Year, Asisato Shola, also got a nomination. That's it on the newsroom at this moment. Many thanks for joining us. I'm Okbayemi Owosheni. Bye for now.